these days it's the new country. It looks like one of those old-fashioned pens. It also looks like someone deliberately buried it here. That the victims of the children's rituals come back to haunt the area at night. I want to see it for myself, but I'm not stupid enough to walk around after dark. Lane? Picked up any seeds on the way? Hmm? Oh, ho, ho. I see you've decided to make the right choice. The seeds you're collecting? They're no ordinary seeds. Some people like to call them the seeds of life. The brightly shining little suckers got some spark to them. I tell you, they're alive. Those little critters are the ones who are almost born into this and... Uh, you know what? Never mind. Why am I telling you this anyway?
Oh, it's you again. Thank you for taking such an interest in my friend's story. Who wouldn't? A young reporter driven by a passion for truth pursues a major case of corruption, ultimately driving an innocent woman to commit suicide. But the story's not over yet, is it? I'm curious, what happens next? He was beyond distraught. Nothing could console him. He came to realize that the pen really was mightier than the sword. And he had used his sword to punish the wrong person. And then he... <sighs> I can't continue like this. I just can't. I need to tell you the truth. He... Or rather, I... Thought death was the only form of penance. <laughs> I suspected you may be hiding something. <sighs> I apologize. I've been lying to you this entire time. I had no such friend. The reporter, the one who killed the innocent woman? That was me. I had a feeling. The way you've been telling the story seems to be hitting a little too close to home. The reporter in me died long ago. I handed in my letter of resignation immediately, of course. Along with my life as a writer, I buried my precious pen. The burial ground is now a storage area somewhere in Old Town. Underneath the dirt lies the tool of my trade, and a part of myself. So why tell me this now? What's the point in dredging up the past? It can't be easy for you. To tell you the truth, I don't really know. I guess I... I guess I've been wanting to tell someone before it was too late. People need to know what happened. As a warning, if nothing else. Too late? You're not thinking of... <laughs> no. I've been dead for a long time now. The day I quit my job is the day I quit being me. That's the day I quit living. You see, I'm as good as dead. I'm nothing more than a... than an empty shell of a person. Old Town. I found a pen in that same area. It must have belonged to Armand. Obviously, it means a lot to him. Perhaps I should return it. Or would that drive him to do something rash? days as a reporter I never went anywhere without it it was a gift from one of my fans doesn't this pen remind you of a time you wanted to help people when you were still naive but fiercely determined yes long ago when I wanted justice for the world but I realized my pen is a deadly weapon my writing is lethal I wasn't aware of my own powers that's what drove an innocent woman to to take her life and that's why I quit my job as a reporter and threw away this pen. Do you know how it feels to have someone's death on your conscience? The only way to make this right was to quit what I love most. So what did you fix? Huh? When you threw away your career and gave up on the world, quit on life, how did any of that help anyone? Did that make anything right? It was just an excuse for you to run and hide from your past. Then what am I to do? Writing its the only thing I ever knew. But it never occurred to me that my passion could end up hurting those around me. My prized treasure turned out to be a weapon. The pen can harm people, but it can also protect the public. <sighs> you think I should start writing again? I, I don't know if I could do that. Or should do that. You should, if you truly want to make things right. You've learned something important. The power and influence your writing has. People grow by learning from their mistakes. It's impossible to forget what happened in the past, but use that knowledge and do what only you can do. Do you really think I can? 
All right, I'll do it. Yeah, starting over will be tough, but I'll try. You've returned my pen to me, but what's more, you've given me hope again. Thank you. I just... thank you. Don't forget to buy a ticket. You have come, Savior, as it was seen. Savior, you have come. Your fate is in our hands. I see all the threads, past and future. And your path is clear. My eye sees the truth. This is so and always has been. Our encounter has sealed the spell. 
Know now, you are bound by my words. What the hell do you mean by that? Bound by your words? You think that because I came today, just like you predicted, you have some kind of hold over me. And now you believe you can tell me what to do next. Is that it? Yes. You must bend to our will. That is your fate. Do not fight it. You're just fooling yourselves. I came here today because I wanted to, not because of any spell. Ah, yes. The illusion of free will is the spell's greatest strength. Now it is time to hear your next oracle. My eye has seen the truth. The three stones you must find and bring here to us. Stones? As in some kind of gem? It is ordained. You must obey. Bring us the desert flames. Three there must be. One is born by a traveling merchant. One is found in an underground path. One is found on a street with many inns. So if this spell of yours is real, I've got no choice, right? I'll go out, find those three gems, and bring them back to you. The chains of fate bind you. Tempered in heaven's furnace, by no force can they be sundered. You must do fortune's bidding. Light, are you feeling okay? Those men said they cast a spell on you. Do you think that that's true? They're charlatans and incompetent ones at that. Magic eyes and oracles? That wouldn't fool anyone. Good to hear. They want you to find the three desert flame gems. But you're not gonna play along with their game, are you? You ignore them, right? Or I could find them. Light, you're not serious about that, are you? You know as well as me we don't have to play their games. New gems, straight from the dead dunes. Want to buy one? They're called Desert Flames, and I'm the only one who sells them. Well, that's my entire stock. Thanks for being a loyal customer. No, come on, they're just frauds. Except, you didn't just pick those gems off the street. You paid a lot of guild to complete that collection. Hope, you have to give me some credit. I'm just playing along, for now. The best way to find out what they're really up to is to hand over the three gems.
the eye has you in its thrall, savior. Behold, the eye has seen the truth. She returns to us bearing the three gems, just as foretold. I was doubtful, but I guess you do have special powers. That spell really works. So why don't you tell me what you really want from me? Very well. The time has come. Listen well, savior. I have seen it. You will hunt monsters, fearsome creatures that plague this land. The Eye has seen you defeat them all, even the ultimate beast. And your all-seeing Eye doesn't lie, right? Because your spell will make it true? It is fate. The Oracle has spoken, and you have no choice but to act. Free our city of the monster menace. obvious what they're up to now, don't you think? They've got a monster infestation and they want someone to clean it up for them. And that would be me. They're nothing more than con artists, manipulating you to do their bidding. What do they hope to gain from killing monsters? Maybe it's just as they say. Get rid of the monsters and the city will be a safer place. You're saying you think this is for the greater good. Wait a second, Light. If my records are correct, it looks like you've already killed off the target monsters. Why don't you let them know that you're done? already slain the ultimate beast. You have done well, Savior. With this act, you have accomplished every task we set before you. Now you are free. I release you from the spell. Great. Now that I've got my free will back, why don't you tell me what this has been about? Why send me on all those errands? As members of the society, we are privy to centuries of alchemic lore. This knowledge gives us access to the greatest of powers. It is our duty to protect the common folk from threats such as monsters. The alchemic arts are too subtle a weapon to defeat beasts. So you got me to kill monsters because they were a threat to the civilians, is that it? It wasn't for your own gain? No. The alchemic arts are an ancient endeavor, the pursuit of ultimate truth. It is a truly selfless act. We enlisted your aid to bring peace to the citizens of this city. Now we have released you from the spell. You can continue your sacred mission. Go and serve your almighty god. Maybe they did cast a spell. I did exactly what they wanted, every step of the way. Who's to say it wasn't their doing? But you said yourself that you were just playing along. That you only did it to find out what their ultimate goal was. I thought I had the choice to stop whenever I wanted, but I didn't, did I? Maybe I could have stopped, or maybe I couldn't. Either way, it's a reminder of just how easy it is to manipulate others. I mean, when someone tells you not to do something, don't you ever get the urge to do the exact opposite? Who needs spells when all it takes is just a few words? Ironically, the freer people think they are, the more likely they are to be controlled. It's hard for anyone to really understand how people work. I mean, 
Even if I think I have free will, I can't see into my heart to know for sure. Think about it. If someone else was making every choice for me, is there any way I could really know the truth 